What's up YouTube and welcome back to my channel Girly Ganja. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Today we are getting our 2x4 grow tent with Mars Hydro cleaned up and ready for our next grow. Last time with the Blueberry and the Air Force One, we had a lot of space and I don't plan on yielding a lot out of that just because we could have done better with the training. I am going to be starting a new grow but I want to first show you guys what we're going to be using what equipment which it is the same thing from last season as y'all can see it is still a mess in here look it looked like scavengers came and just took my stuff but we still have the net up which i may leave it up and just like move it down and let the plant grow into it the only reason why i'm torn about it is because y'all know i really wanted to either do like a plastic one or switch from these ones, when I use these, I tend to see a lot of these um, little particles like on my flowers, in my flowers, and it's a little tricky getting it off in the end without cutting it. So I was asking you guys what type of nets that you guys use, and I was looking into some plastic ones and different things like that. I like using the nets. I really don't want to have to tie a bunch of strings everywhere, which I did do that before. If you guys see all of these, y'all remember these? These, like, I had st these sticks that I would stick into my plants, and I would just have it, um, you know, tied up there so the plant would st stay straight up. Look at how ridiculous this is, y'all. I'm going to give me some wire cutter because it just fell down. It's so long. But I'm going to get me a wire cutter and cut this off so it could just be shorter. That is my exhaust, and it's just, it needs some work. So... We're going to do another round in the 2x4, back by popular demand, and this right here is the Evolutionary 4000. I call it the EVO. Some of y'all say it's like Evo, Evo. I don't even know, but I call it the EVO 4000, and I've only done that one grow, so I think we'll do yet another one just so I can just fill this whole tent up. I'm really excited about that. You already know we are using the full Mars Hydro setup, so we are using this 4-inch fan along with the carbon filter, and I have a oscillating fan, but this time around, y'all, I think I also need to get my airflow going a lot better, so I'm going to be adding additional fans this time. So the next time you see the tent, it will be cleaned out, and then we will decide what we're going to be putting in there. I have some options. I do. I think the main one that I'm going to be doing is going to be this one right here, which this is just, um, it is, what is this one? Oh, this one is an OG Kush. And the only reason why I have reservations of doing this one is because y'all know we just did the, um, Air Force One, which was also a Kush. So I was like, man, do I want to do another Kush? But I was thinking since I only have one of these, maybe we'll do a one plant, one tank grow. Y'all know we did that last time with the lava cake where I did one plant across the whole two by four. Especially because if you guys remember in the last update, I did let you guys know that we're going to be growing the two French cookies and my other two by four grow tent. So maybe it would be nice to just see another one plant, one grow or another option, which y'all are going to kill me, <laughs> would be this Ken dog who is not transplanted still i was supposed to transplant her and there is a chance that this is an auto flower so if it is i was thinking i wasn't even thinking like straight but if this is an auto flower you usually are going to be starting auto flowers in their final pot because y'all know ready or not she is going to flower so i'm thinking i'm going to get this transplanted today and the reason why i'm not going to use this one is because most of you guys agreed that you wanted to see a full seed to harvest grow featuring the chem dog versus putting it in with the weekly updates. So I'm thinking I'm gonna save this one because we are doing a behind the scenes video with a full seed to harvest and I'm gonna be using one of these, the one that we don't use to complete that. So you still have time to let me know, do you guys wanna see the chem dog in a full to seed to harvest video or do you guys wanna see the OG Kush? Full seed to harvest or in this tent so let me guys let me know you guys and then i will come back and show you guys the setup and we'll start on our weekly updates once we get and figure out what we're putting in there so later this week i will update you guys on that and then we'll just start doing our weekly updates 
and showing you guys what they end up yielding. As always, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Like this video if you liked it, and I'll see you in the next upload.